last week, I put out a video showing you how to set up a basic recording template. If you didn't watch it, check it out before getting any farther into this video. I wouldn't want you to get lost in the sauce in this video here. As you saw from the title, we're going to be talking about a more advanced way to use your recording template. We're going to be updating it. I'm going to be giving you an intro on routing tracks. I'm going to be showing you how it works with your own vocal chain. We're going to be talking about blend mode recording, and I'm also going to give you a live recording session so you can see exactly how you would use this template. We have a lot to learn today, guys. Let's get into it. That sounded pretty dope, right? So I have my basic recording template already set up in FL Studio, as you can see here. Yours should look very similar to mine. So right away, we're gonna be talking about routing tracks, and I'm gonna give you a brief intro on it. Nothing too over the top. I don't wanna get lost in the weeds here. All I wanna do is talk about how it's gonna benefit you when it comes to using your own vocal chains. As you can see here, I have my beat. That's gonna be tracked out to number one. Right by it is going to be the record track where you record your vocals in. If I press arm or disarm for recording, if I turn it on, you can see that it is picking up the signal to my vocals, so it's ready to record. What we wanna do right away is route this recording track to a different insert. Right now, our recording insert is routed to the master insert. That means anything that's in these slots right here, it's going to be processed from top to bottom and then into the master insert. So how I would connect this, instead of having the record track being sent or routed into the master insert, what I'm going to do is disconnect it from the master and send it over to a blank insert in the mixer. In this case, we're gonna be sending it to insert number five because that's the next open insert in the mixer. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the record track is selected and you want to go to insert five, right click the bottom here and route to this track only. So now we're sending the signal into insert five and we can relabel this lead vox. This lead vox is also going to be where we place our plugins or our vocal chains into. And then it's going to be processed to the master insert. So now we have our record track. It's now being sent to the lead vox right here. And then this lead vox is gonna be sent to the master track. We are now going to apply our vocal chain into this lead vox. My go-to vocal chain is gonna be my black main vocals. We're gonna go ahead and remove this plugin because we already have our auto-tune on here. You can download this vocal chain if you want. The link is in the description. As you guys can hear, the main vocal effects is now applied. It's picking up my signal right here. It's going into the lead vox where my vocal chain is applied and then my vocal chain is going to be routed to the master channel. We are gonna do the same thing for record track number two and number three. So again, what we wanna do is right click, route to this track only. The signal is now being routed into this lead box and then you wanna do the same thing for record number three, right click, route to this track only. Now we have our record tracks all routed to this lead box here. And this lead box will process our vocal chains and then it'll process into our master track. You still with me? If you're kind of lost, do not worry. I'm still gonna explain the best way I can and how I would use this. Just continue to follow along. We're gonna be talking about the next step, which is going to be blend mode recording. We're gonna start with our record track. If you go up to this section right here, you're gonna see right next to 321, this option right here, it's going to be called blend recording or overdub. You wanna make sure that that's turned on. Of course, you wanna turn your arm or disarm on for recording. You wanna make sure your auto tune is set to the proper key. Once you are ready, you wanna turn it on. You can see that the record track is picking up my vocals. It's also being processed into the lead vocals here. Let's go ahead and turn on our main vocal chain. Let's put our headphones on. We are now ready to record our vocals. And I actually have some lyrics here that I quickly wrote down. It's not perfected yet. I haven't really recorded it yet, so I don't know how it's gonna go. But either way, you'll get a good idea on how you can record yourself. So with blend mode recording on, I have the three, two, one countdown on before recording. And of course I have the metronome on. When we are ready to record, all we gotta do is press the record button or R on your keyboard and we could just press the space bar. So here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I already forgot what I was gonna say here. So let's go ahead and redo that. Yep. I meant it when I said I love you. 
I never meant to put no one above you And even if it all changed now I guess feelings remain the same Trouble Cause even if it changed somehow I know I won't be to blame anymore You could play it back I meant it when I said I love you I never meant to put no one above you And even if it all changed now I guess feelings remain the same Trouble I kind of screwed up in the beginning here. I'm still trying to get down what I'm trying to say. So here's where blend mode recording comes in play. Blend mode recording is like an overdub over your vocals that you already recorded. It's perfect for when it comes to like ad libs or redoing your vocals. What we are gonna do is we're gonna turn on this record track again. We're gonna press R to record our vocals. We are now going to try to do this again. I meant it when I said I love you. I never meant to put no one above you And even if it's all changed now I guess feelings remain the same Trouble Cause even if it changed somehow I know I won't be to blame anymore you can see that I was able to record my vocals without it recording the first take. What it also did was group my tracks. You can see here that it made a grouped track section. If you wanna take another take, but this time you wanna mute them, all you have to do is do this. And you can see that it's still picking up my vocals. So if I press record and I wanna redo that take, if we press spacebar. I meant it when I said I love you. I never meant to put no one above you, but even if it's all changed now, I, I kind of screwed up there actually. So if I press play. I meant it when I said I love you. I never meant to put no one above you. Now we could choose the vocal take that we did that was the best. I think my second one was the best here. Let's hear it. I meant it when I said I love you. I never meant to put no one above you. And even if it's all changed now, I that wasn't my best. <laughs> It was worse. I think our first one was our best, apparently. I meant it when I said I love you. I never meant to put no one above you. And even if it all changed now, I guess feelings remain the same. Trouble. Blend mode recording is perfect for vocal comping and laying down any vocal leads for ad libs or dubs, overdubs, anything that you want to put in your vocals. Definitely make sure that blend mode is on so it can add to your vocal takes. Let's say that we are happy with this take and it's now time to lay down our ad libs. We can use record two for our ad libs. What you can do is just turn this on. And as you can see, it is being processed into our lead box. We are gonna press the letter R on our keyboard for recording. And let's get started. Let's do ad libs here. I meant it when I said I love you. I never meant to put no one above you. And even if it all changed now, I guess feelings remain the same. Trouble. Cause even if it changed somehow, I know. Okay, cool. So we got our ad libs. We can listen to what that sounds like. Press R on the keyboard, listen back. I meant it when I said I love you. I never meant to put no one above you. And even if it all changed now, I guess feelings remain the same. Okay, cool. If I want to add to that and maybe I want to add more ad libs, all you got to do is press R. Let's press play. I meant it when I said I love you. I love you. I never meant to put no one above you. Above and even if it all changed now, now, I guess feelings remain the same. same. Trouble. Trouble. Because even if it changed. I was freestyling there, not the best at it, but you get what I'm trying to do, right? So let's listen back to this poor ad lib take here. I meant it when I said I love you. I love you. I never meant to put no one above you. Above and even if it all changed now, I guess feelings remain the same. same. Trouble, trouble, cause even if it changed. Anyway, I'm just having fun with this, guys. So maybe after you record the ad libs, you want to have an ad lib box. Like we can put an ad libs box here. And basically you can put your own vocal chain for the ad libs here. So if we go to my vocal chain presets here, let's go to studio rack. Let's go ahead and add our ad libs box. We're just gonna use the black ad libs presets again. And then we can add our ad libs effects and we are gonna do the black vocal presets again. And this time for our record track number two, instead of routing it to lead box, you can route it to your ad lib box. Now, if we hear back what our ad libs sound like. I meant it when I said I love you. I love you. I never meant to put no one above you. Above and even if it all changed now, now. I guess feelings remain. I mean, it sounds pretty cool. Would I release this song? 
absolutely not like this. But you get the idea. I hope you understand what I'm trying to do here and how it works. Now that FL Studio has upgraded, you just have so many options when it comes to recording. And I think right now, this is going to be my recording template. So that is pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you learned something in this video, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see next as well. Happy recording, guys. Have a blessed day. Peace.